Uh, the Hungarian government is always trying to be close to the power. So they always accept the power. If it was Moscow, they would like Moscow, and Washington, Brussels, on big multinationals, they like being close to power and uh, and not they don't so much have their own opinion. Sometimes they have their own opinion, then it's even worse. <laughs> yeah, I think it's quite close to the current actual government, Hungarian government's way of thinking to control the people and uh, and not let them to, to do anything for free and and monitoring what people are doing and what are, what they can do and what they're not allowed to. This way of thinking, I think, is quite close to, to, to the actual government's way of thinking. That's why. Well, ACTA is a very nice thing for uh, corporations and for uh, governments as well, because it creates the possibility uh, for uh, corporations and governments to look into people's data as it passes through the uh, backbones of the internet. If you're a corporation, then uh, you want to do this to make sure that they don't steal your uh, stuff, and if you're a government, you want to make sure that uh, these people don't uh, disseminate information that you don't like. So there's a convergence of interest that is going against the interest of uh, all the citizens. But uh, for the governments and for the corporations, there is actually motivation to support this treaty. If I would be uh, the government, I would support this treaty. But we are trying to push them not to do that because they are supposed to serve our interests. Um, in terms of uh, Hungary, I think this is a very interesting uh, game in Europe at the moment uh, because there is a lot of... Uh, feedback loops between the different countries and uh, <clears throat> the original plan was that uh, the acceptance of the ACTA would go unnoticed but uh, fortunately it uh, didn't happen so. Creative Commons, which is a framework for uh, artists who want to support uh, the copyright. They want to leave the the copyright, but not all of them, but uh, with some restrictions like uh, share alike or uh, you must write down where did you find it, who is the original artist. So you keep the copyright, but but it's free to share. It's free. It's free to use. You can use it on your own work without without uh, making changes in it or we make change in it. So. It's it's a kind of framework where you support the other artists to, to do stuff, but uh, it means you, you get your credits, but you can share your work. It's it's not like the the normal copyright, and I think it, it, it's a nice alternative for for the copyright. And uh, I I doesn't think that uh, the copyleft movement is, is a good thing, but Creative Commons is is, is kind of good. So I'm here to support this this one. I'm a photographer, and I. I uh, I upload all of my pictures uh, with this license, so I think it, th this should be the alternative.
at the moment uh, the protests in any country affect uh, the attitude of the politicians in all the other countries and so even in Hungary there is protest in uh, four different sites but I think that uh, if we want to see what the impact of this protest we have to take into account the impact of all the other protests and how that uh, changes the European uh, political atmosphere. I also think that uh, during the last uh, pro-government demonstration, which was organized by the government for, uh, in support of its own policies, um, they went uh, on the front of the demonstration with a big, big banner, uh, saying in English and in Hungarian that we don't want to be a colony. So I think if they don't want to be a colony, the best thing to do is not to ratify ACTA. Because it makes it uh, makes each country a colony of the United States. Because the United States is not bound by ACTA, but all the other countries that are, uh, are signing it are bound by ACTA. This is in the wrong place. It should be front of the United States of Embassy, because America turn against freedom. American is obsession, American replacing Soviet Union, the Bolsheviks. This is the new Bolsheviks of the 21st century. It's United States of America. And I love the American Lincoln spirit, but the Lincoln spirit is dead. And I love America, the freedom fighting America, not the oppressing America. There's two different worlds.